Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mega Menu tutorial video. My name is Roby and today I'll be walking you through some of the common known issues associated that might come up when you're using Divi Mega Menu. If you need more help, please check out our documentation site for more written and video documentation at help.diviengine.com or contact our amazing support team and somebody will be sure to help you out as soon as they can. Alright, let's get into this. Okay, so here's some of the most common problems with Divi Mega Menu that we know of. If your problem is present, then follow the instructions below. Otherwise, just contact the support team and somebody will be sure to help you out. Now, one of the main reasons why your Mega Menu might not be showing up after you followed all the steps in the documentation to install and activate and create your first Mega Menu is that the developer of your child theme might not have added the action code for Divi in the footer.php file. We can easily add this code by making our way to the child theme folder and opening the footer.php file. Once you have this file open in a text editor, we can add the Divi action code under the opening PHP tag. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add the text on the screen and it's do action et after main content. And if you follow along on the screen, this is what it should look like. Another relatively common issue that people face when using Divi Mega Menu is that they're utilizing a custom identifier that relates to another plugin that they're using like WooCommerce or some other plugin. So please make sure when you're assigning those custom identifiers that it has something relating to Mega Menu in there. Maybe you want to prefix it with Mega underscore menu underscore and then the menu name or maybe DMM underscore and your menu name. Something specific to Mega Menu. And lastly, we want to make sure that all caching plugins are disabled and that you have disabled static CSS on your site. Another important thing is to make sure that your browser cache has been purged as this can cause issues with updating the content on the site. If you're having trouble disabling any of these features or purging a cache or something like that, check out our previous videos here in the Mega Menu documentation section on the site and help.divienginecom where we go through all the steps you need to follow to get this done. With that, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was helpful to you, but if you have any remaining questions, please check out the documentation site at help.divienginecom. Otherwise, contact our support team for more complicated issues. Alright guys, catch you in the next video.